Uh, hi everyone, I'm audible to you all. Okay. So I think we can begin with the session. So hello everyone. My name is Ashish Jangla. I'm one of the mentor here at Geeks to Geeks of data science schools. And uh, this session is uh, about data analysis, how data analysis works in a nutshell. We are going to discuss about uh, means in the span of almost one and a half on almost one hour, we'll see that extends. So we are going to take a data set. We'll see how uh data analysis works how are uh, means what are the different steps we need to follow uh to analyze the data set pre-processing the data set visualizing it and finding important insights from the data set okay we are going to write the code on google collab so that you'll have an idea okay how you can run the code on server as well you'll see the benefits of doing that as well uh we are going to use a data set uh, which is a real data set of ghana.com we are going to use that data set to collect the information uh need uh, to have an insight about how the data set works and then we are going to analyze it pre-process and perform different operations on that okay so uh before jumping ahead uh let me know guys like how many of you uh are aware about data analysis how data analysis works and how would you rate yourself in data analysis out of out of 10 so that I'll have a basic understanding, uh, like which kind of audience we are having and accordingly I'll start. Okay. Okay. How you guys rate yourself in data analysis out of, out of five. Okay. And if there is anyone who don't know about data analysis, they can write zero as well. Okay. Okay. Five and three and twos. Okay. Okay. Okay, Anupam, you are overconfident. Okay. Anupam has got six. Okay. Trusting? Yes. Rest of you? <clears throat> okay. So, as I can see, uh, most of you are having like zero to intermediate level of knowledge in data analytics. Okay. So, what we'll do, uh, I'll also uh, try to take the keep the thing simple and uh so that everyone will have a basic understanding how things can be done this data analysis process i'm going to uh, discuss a bit differently rather than going for the traditional approach uh because this is the data set on which i am also going to work for the first time okay so we'll discuss about the insights how i might proceed further with the problem not just right i have written a code somewhere and then i'm going to copy and paste the code and tell you how thing works i'll give you the naive way a naive approach to proceed further with that okay so let me present my screen with you okay and uh, let me tell you how you can access the data set okay so to access the data set uh Changa, github Okay, I'm going to share the data set with you as well. Link, you can go to GitHub, repositories, and data set. This is the repository where we are having different data sets that you can use for different domains. Mintra, job scraper. Okay, this is also like most of the data, almost all, all the data sets are collected. Most of the data sets are collecting through web scraping from real websites. Okay, so we are going to use this particular data set of Ghana. Okay, this is having songs.csv file. Okay, this CSV file is having thousands of songs of different languages and uh, like sung by different, uh, but I would say singers. And we are going to analyze this data. We are also having the duration and things like that. So, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'll write the code on Google Collab. Okay. So what I'm doing, 
I am writing Google Colab. Okay, go to Google Colab, and once that part is done, I am going to create a new notebook, and this is where I am going to write all the code. Okay, now what is Google Colab? Okay, can we use data set from Kaggle? Yes, you can use any other data set from any data set of your choice. This data set is specifically about this Ghana dot com uh, data set, but the process. Uh, is almost same for all the data set. First of all, we are going to load the data set. We'll see how the data set is structured, the rows, the columns, and different things about the data set. And then we'll proceed further into pre-processing, analyzing, and visualizing it. Okay. So uh, first of all, what we are going to do, we are going to load this particular data set, songs.csv, on my collab file. Okay. Let me write here Yana data analysis. Okay. So, and if at any point of time, anyone find any difficulty or any issue, okay, the guys can post it in the chats. Okay. And uh, just give me a second. And please, please mute yourself, guy. Uh, there are those who have unmuted themselves. Like there, there are some background noise coming in from you guys. Okay. Sorted. So, Let's start working on it. So first of all, we need to load this particular songs.csv. Now, first thing is how we can load the CSV file. Okay. To load the CSV, what I will do, I'm going to take this repository, github.com slash 27 slash data set. This is the repository. I'm going to take this link. I'm going to clone it. Okay. Get clone this repository. If I'm executing it for the first time, okay, it will start allocating you the resources. So far, I am just cloning the repository. Cloning the repository means I am downloading all the things that are there in that repository on my on 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 the server on like that I am having. Okay. So now here you can see it is cloning the repository and it is providing you some resources. And once that part is done, here you can see. Click on here and here you can see data sets folder is there. In this data sets folder, we are having different data set. I'm going to take Ghana. Inside Ghana, I'm having songs.csv. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the path of this file. And now let's start loading the data set. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use pandas. Can anyone tell me what is pandas? Quickly let me know in the chats. What is pandas? Yes, anyone? What is pandas? Why we are using pandas? Okay. Okay. Pandas is a Python library. It's used for data management. Okay. Makes sense. So pandas is a library that we are going to use to load the CSV file to pre-processes and to analyze it as well. Okay. There are some libraries where most of the codes are written. That's why Python is very popular. It is having a lot of libraries, hundreds of thousands of libraries, which will help you to write the code in an efficient manner. You don't need to write the code from scratch. There are thousands of developers who have written the code. You can use their code for the for directly means writing or uh, solving the problem. Okay, so pandas dot uh, importing pandas as pd. Let me. No, if the phone size is okay for you, or if you want uh, me to make it a bit bigger, I can do that as well. Is it fine for you? The phone size? Yes, sir. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, let me make it a bit bigger. Okay. So importing pandas is PD. Now what I'm going to do, now I have already copied the path of this file. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the path and here I'm going to read the file. Okay, so I'm going to tf is equals to pd dot read underscore csv. I'm going to read this particular csv from here. And after that, I'm going to see, okay, how the data set is, how data set looks. So if I'm loading it here, you can see this is how it looks. Okay, it is having a name common, uh, name column, which is having the name of the song. It is having the singers who's on the song. We are having the singer ID. We are having the duration of the song, link 
of the song and the language. Okay, these are some of the details I'm having. Now, once we are having the data set, we'll see what are the different operations we can perform on it, how we should proceed further with the problem. Okay, now what we are going to do, we are going to take the help of GPT this time. Okay, we'll see how GPT can help you proceed further with the things in a better manner. Okay, means it will reduce the time that you are putting in to analyze the data. So for example, let's see if uh, if I am passing this particular song to CSV file, if it works or not. Okay, so here I am giving a prompt. Okay, uh, give me a basic description about the data set. Okay. And in Python here, I'm going to write. Okay. Okay. So here you can see it is start giving you some details. Okay. So now what I'm doing, I'm just telling you how you can take the benefit of these things, these tools, because it's not mandatory that you, that you need to know all the commands. There are hundreds of thousands of command. You cannot memorize everything. Most of the time we are going to use the codes that are already valuable on internet. If the code is not working, we are going on internet and see why this thing is happening. Okay. And tools like chat GPT will help you to give a better understanding in, in an easier way, because this will basically provide you a one sort solution for all the problems. Okay. Now here you can see it is also, now it has also given you, we are having the song title. We are having the artist, the album, the genre, the duration, release year and place. Okay. So release year and place are something that is not given in the data set. Okay. So that is why like there are some things that you need to take care by yourself. Okay. So this is the code that it has written. Now here you can directly load the CSV file here as well using read underscore CSV. Here I have downloaded it and then I was using it. Okay. Okay. Can't hear. Is it for everyone or like just for you, Sai, uh, Sai Banavas? Okay. I think it's just for you. Like you can try to rejoin. Okay. So uh, here you can see this is how the data set looks. Now what we are going to do. First thing, if you, are, you have loaded this data set should be to check if there is any null value in the data set or not. Okay. We are just going to perform exploratory data analysis. We are going to explore this data set. Okay. How many names are there? How many rows are there? How many columns are there? How many singers are there? Okay. What's the duration? If we are having any null value in the duration or not, if we are having some songs whose duration, I don't know. If there are some songs whose singers, I don't know. Okay. How many languages we are having? So this, all these things comes under exploratory data analysis. We are exploring the data set. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this. And first of all, I'm going to take DF. If I'm printing the whole data frame, it will give you like, we are having 41,355 rows. Each row represent one song. Okay. And six columns. Each column represent a different feature about that data set. Okay. So that's how it works uh, about that song. So from here I can see, okay. From top, you can see we are having Urdu language song and at the bottom we are having Bengali songs as well. So what we are going to do, let's check. Now here I know we are having how many songs, these many songs are there. Okay. Now let's try describe. Okay. This will give you a basic description about the data set. Okay. And that basic description is count. How many songs are there? 41,355. Same number of singers are there. Same number of singer ID, duration, link and language. Okay. So these are the, how many rows we are having, how many data we are having in each row. Okay. In unique, how many unique names are there? Now, what do you mean by unique name? Unique name will basically tell me how many unique song names are there. Okay. And these are the names. How many singers are there? They are six in the data set. Okay. So the singers are 6,196. Okay. And these are the singer IDs. Now here you can see singers are 6,196 and singer ID is 6580. Okay. 
can anyone like make a random assumption why it is happening like this we are having a singer we need, we are having singer id why they are different because the number should be same right so why it's happening that way so so these are the things that you you will encounter for sure in the data set okay so shivam is saying uh, sir some of the singers name is null names are null yeah it is possible some of the singers names are null okay or it might also happen that once i am having the singers there might be multiple singers with the same name okay if there are multiple people like if there are two singers both of them are having the name ashish so what can happen in that case the singer id will be different okay we must need to have a unique id for a unique user so that's why like if i'm talking about email id same email id two people cannot have if i'm talking about gmail why it is not going to happen because they are going to store this data there should be something unique about every user okay same every product is also having a unique product id every singer will also have a unique singer id okay if the names are repeating then the singer id will change okay What's i cannot deal? hear what you are saying no okay are you speaking yes. english or you are speaking indian i can't hear what you are saying okay is it for everyone or is it just for you boham okay i can't hear what you are saying that's why i raise up your my my hand oh could you please uh, speak a know. language that i understand i can't hear i can only hear english i can't hear you clearly you're not speaking english i'm speaking in english uh, i don't know like yeah, why you're not able to i can't hear what you are saying okay uh, yeah. can you please try to rejoin i think that that works okay 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 so yes uh, one more point is also there uh, that priyanshu has uh, mentioned it may also include group of singers okay or one singer can have multiple songs but that is something we will discuss about the songs part okay so this is just a basic description okay so here you can see telugu is one of them which is more which is having most number of songs as mentioned here similarly we are having the frequency as well okay now let's do one thing let's check the null values to check the null values we have got is null dot sum okay so what this will do this will tell you how many null values are there in any in any column if you are in any row if you are having any in name zero null value same goes for singer singer id duration link and language so from here i can see there is no null value okay once i go to know okay these are i'm having no null value if they are null values we are having different ways to approach for removing the null values okay but at this in this particular data set we are not having any null value so we don't go in that direction okay once i go to know okay these are the null values uh, i am having and after removing that this is what you will get now i'll start going for okay what should be the next approach so the next approach ideally is check the columns okay go through each column one by one and see how the data data is structured okay if there is anything uh, which require data pre processing then we'll proceed further with it okay so far you know no null value so i'll not proceed further with that now what i'll do let's do one thing let's go for let's analyze some singers okay what is happening with the singers let's print first 20 rows okay if i'm printing first 20 rows here you can see there are some singers like okay jagji singh is there and then uh, chitra singh and jagji singh okay so this song dilenada uh, sung by two singers okay and here we are having the singer id of chitra singh and then the singer id of jagji singh and here if you look closely this is like how you should work okay if you look closely jagji singh and chitra singh is separated with a, a means this particular sign idle is called as pipe operator okay 
this is the sign through which both of them are separated. Okay. If there is a single single, this is how it's written. If there are multiple singles, this is how they are written. Okay. Separated with a pipe operator. Okay. Similarly, if I'm talking about the singer ID, if there is a single singer, here you can see single written. If there are multiple singles, first singer ID, pipe operator, second singer ID. This is how they are written. So from here, you can see if I'm talking about unique singer IDs. So here you can see Jagjit Singh one is there. So that means Jagjit Singh also, only Jagjit Singh will also be there. Okay, not in this data set because this is not the whole data set the Ghana.com is having. This is just a sample of data set, most played songs. Okay, and here you can see we are having duration. Now duration is in the string format. We need to somehow convert it into seconds. If I want to know, okay, what is the average duration of Urdu song? What is then average duration of a Bengali song? So for that purpose, I need to convert it into a numeric format. This is not in a numeric format at this point of time. This is in a string format. Similarly, we are having links. We are having singer ID. Okay. At this point of time, what I'm going to do, because I'm having singer, because I'm having language, what I'll do, I will remove this link and singer ID column because at this point of time, the uh, process we are following, we are not going to take the, uh, take these columns. Okay. So what I'll do, let me delete this column. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll delete singer ID column from df and I'll delete the link column from this data frame. Okay. And once I've done that, okay, it should not be link. It should be df dot head. Okay. So now we are just having four columns. Okay. Name, single, duration, and language. Okay. Now I think we should start for, we should step, uh, go one step ahead with data analysis part. Okay. Now, if I'm talking about singles, sorted. So if I'm taking DF of singer, so these are all the singles we are having. Okay. Now, if I want to know how many unique singers are there, okay. How many unique singers are there? How I can go to know about the unique singers. Okay. There are a couple of songs which are sung by one singer. There are duets, which are with two singers. Now, if I want to know if there is any singer or if there is any song sung by three, uh, I would say singer or more than three or four or five, how we can get to know about that. Okay. So this is something now I start, I need to start analyzing. Okay. Through this, I can get to know how many singers we are having. What is the average duration of a song of Jagdish Singh? Okay. Which kind of songs, what are the different languages of songs Jagdish Singh has sung? Okay. Now from here, we will start pre-processing the data. Now the singer column is having songs written this way. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to find how many exactly unique singers are there because if I'm taking singer and if I'm writing unique, this will give you a list of unique singers. Okay. If I'm writing N unique, this will give you a list of unique singers here. So the list is 6196, but this is not the correct answer. Can anyone tell me why this is not the correct answer? Why this is not the correct answer? I want to know how many unique number of singers we are having. Now to know exactly the unique singer, we ideally should take singer ID because singer ID is unique for all the singers. Even if two singers are having the same name, singer ID will is something that we can take. Okay. Because some row contain multiple singers. Exactly. Here is Neha and Shivam. Okay. So what we are going to do. Okay. We are going to take all of them one by one. Okay. I'm going to take single. This particular column I'm taking. From this column, I need to find how many unique singers are there. Okay. So what I'll do if I'm taking the first one. Okay. Let me go for a simple for loop. For I and single. Okay. This is the list comprehension. If I'm executing it, I'll get the data in the comprehensive format. Like I'm just converting all the things into a list and printing all the values one by one. For example, 
Chitra Singh Jagjit Singh is the first one, then Chitra Jagjit again, then Chitra Singh Jan Chitra, I mean Jagjit, Chitra Jagjit, Chitra, and so on. We are starting from the first show and going till the last show. Now, what I need to do, I need to find how many unique singers are there. Simple. So, what I'll do, this is one singer, this is another singer. Okay. So, how many singers are there? I can take this pipe operator as a separator. I dot split them with the pipe operator. So I is nothing but one string at a time. First of all, it will take this string, then it will take this string, then it will take the third string and so on. Okay. So if I'm executing it, what it will do? It will, rather than printing the string, it will print the list. Okay. And in this particular list, you can see that's a singer number one, comma, that's a singer number two, singer number three, four, and these are all the singers we have. And this is how we are adding the singer. Okay. And through this, I can perform the things like this. Okay. So this is nothing but singer, just to write the things in a better manner. And here I'm taking the singers list. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll take uh, all the singer one by one. I'm going to split them with this pipe operator. And whatever data I'll get, okay, it can be have one singer, it can be have multiple singers, two, three, four. I'm going to take all these singers and append it into a new list named as singers. Okay, so I can write singers plus equals to this. So at the end, if I'm executing it, okay, so once this particular set is executed, if I'm printing singers, okay, so here, this is the number. Okay, so if I'm checking the length of singers, it is 60,166. Okay, if I'm checking the length of DF of singer, this is 41,355. Okay, now can anyone tell me why we are having this difference? Why we are having this difference? Because here, what we are doing, Chitra Singh is one singer, Jagjit Singh is another singer, then Chitra third, then Jagjit fourth, then Jagjit fifth, then Chitra sixth, seventh, eighth. This is how we are proceeding further. Okay. So, and because if two singers are there in one song, I am going to count them twice, at least at this point of time on this list. Okay. If I want to know about unique singers, Okay, if I want to know about unique singers, what I'll do, I'll pass this thing to a set. Okay, so I'm going to take singers is equal to singers of set. Okay, now can you tell me what is the difference between a set and a list? What is the difference between a set and a list? Anyone? Set contain unique values. Exactly. And if I am passing like set of singers, and if I'm checking the length of singers now, this is 3940. These are the number of unique singers we are having in total. Okay. It's not 6,000 something. The number of unique singers are 3940. Okay. Now, here we are also having a problem. Now, this, this uh, problem ke andar, kitne variables hai? I think okay okay I think किसी का like someone has unmuted them like accidentally okay so uh here you can see if i'm checking the length of singers this is what the final length is these are how many unique singers we are having here okay now can anyone tell me what is there is still one issue in this can anyone, anyone tell me what is the issue what is that issue is it still the final number of singers we are having or i need to take care about something else Anyone? 
Pradeep, that's great. That's 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 a good answer. Okay, that's the correct answer. So now this list as well. If I'm checking, okay, let me convert it back to a list because this list is having all the singles, duplicated names. Converting into set will give you a set of unique singles. Converting it back to a list will give you a list of unique singles. Okay. So if I'm doing that, this will give me a list of unique singles that goes something like this. Okay. Now the issue here is we are having the name of the singles. Let's suppose if we are having a single which is having means two singles or three singles with the same name, what will happen in that particular case? We are not catering that situation here because even if there are two singles with the same name, the name is not something I can take. I should take the singer ID. Okay. So ideally what I can do to find exactly how many singers we are having rather than singer, we need to take singer ID. Singers are also singer ID is also separated with the same operator. So what I'll do if I'm executing it and checking singers of first 10, these are the number of singers we are having. And if I'm checking the length of singers, this is the number of unique singers we are having. 4528. Okay. And earlier, what is the data that we are getting? If I'm talk, if I'm taking the singer ID as a reference, 4528 is the final answer. Okay. So that means how many singers are there with the same name? There are, if we subtract both of them, you can get a pretty huge idea. There are more than like more than 500 singers which are having the same name but different singer ID. Okay, so that is why this should not be this should not be your ideal approach. Your approach should be taking singer ID. Am I clear to you? Multiple singers can have same name. So that is why singer name is not something that we should consider. Singer ID is something we should consider. Okay. I'm hoping I, I'm clear to you, but still, if anyone of you is having any doubt at any point of time, they can ask. Okay. So from here, you can see there are a lot of singles we are having. And uh, because we are having a lot of singles, this is how the data is also structured. Okay. So let me write in the text format okay so here i started analyzing the data okay basically performing exploratory data analysis how things are done so here you can see for uh, in i in one i can write uh, unique singles okay so these this is the list of unique singles we are having 4528 sorted now what i am going to do now for singles now i'm having a rough, a rough idea now let's suppose if I want to know okay about the language. Okay, what's the data? What's the detail about language? So what I what I can do, let's take about language. Okay, so let's suppose if I'm taking the language column. So far I'm just exploring the data. Okay. Now I want to know okay, how many different languages of songs we are having. So I can write dot unique, execute it. So here you can see it is giving you a list. Urdu, Gujarati, Tamil, Kannada, Rajasthani, Haryanvi, Punjabi, Hindi. So these are the different languages of songs we are having. In okay. And because we are having like these different languages of song, what I can do, I can find in this data set, I can even plot a bar graph in this particular data set, how many different kind of ways, how many songs are there in each category. Right? So ideally, what you can do, okay, just now there are multiple ways to deal with it. Okay, I'm going to tell you a very simple way. Okay, what we can do, we can take this DF, the data frame, and I can use dot group by function. Okay, and this group by function, okay, we have to supply fund level. Okay, so in this group by function on this data frame, I need to find, I need to write which for which column I want to make the group. Okay. On this particular data set, I want to make the group on language column. Okay. What do I mean by groups? 
So there are some different groups I can make on language column based on the values that are there in language column. What are the different values we are having in language column? We are having different languages name. So what it will do, it will make a first call, uh, uh, means first, what I would say, a temporary data frame, which is having all the songs would do. Then it will take another sample, another temporary data frame where all the songs are Hindi. It will take another data frame where all the songs are Tamil. Okay, it will make the groups of them based on different categories we are having in language. Okay, once it has done that, what we can do, we can perform different operation on all those temporary data frames. Okay, now what let's suppose I want to do. I want to perform dot size. Okay, so what this dot size will do? This dot size will basically return you how many times SMEs appear in this column. A sum is appear 724 times. How many times Bengali appears? 758 times. Bhojpuri, 519 times. Gujarati, these many times. Now, can I sort the values? Now, I can sort the values pretty easy. Can I write uh, ascending is equals to false? With the correct spelling for sure. So here you can see number one is Telugu, 4,996 songs. In Hindi, 4,993 songs. In old, these many songs. Marathi, these many songs. So this is the list that you are getting. Okay, once you are having this, you can easily plot a bar graph to basically have a comparison. Okay, now let's see how we can take the benefit of chat GPT to plot the graphs for you. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let's see, okay, because I'm also trying it for the first time on this particular data set. Okay, so what I want to do, uh, write a command, write the code to plot a bar graph that re represents the number of uh, songs in each language. Okay, so let's see how it can work. Okay, can you please tell me uh, where can I find the recorded lecture after this? Okay, so it will be provided on the on the same port. Like you have registered on that, and uh, there are some resources link that will be given. Okay, so if I'm going to hackathon, so okay, it's not mentioned there. Okay, okay, can anyone mention like is there anyone from the operations team? Okay, currently not there. Okay, but no worries, I'll tell you, okay, from where you can access it at the end of the session. Okay, so if I'm going back, here you can see it has given you a rough idea. Okay, dot value count, you can, through this, you can count the number of values. Okay, value count of index. So it has given you the whole code. Let's copy this code and let's see if that works or not. Okay, so here if I'm executing it, Okay, language is not there because language with small L is there, right? And here you can see that's how easy it is, right? And here you can see what it has done. It is first of all taking the data of language column. It is just going for value count, okay? So there are multiple ways to deal with it. We have used group by, here it is using value count. And if I'm performing the value count, this will give you the kind of the same answer as we were having here, right? And once we are having the value count, what we are doing, we are taking value count dot index and values, okay? So this is what you are getting here. If you are, if I'm writing dot value count 
dot index dot index and values okay the bracket should not be there so if i'm performing this so what it will tell me it will tell you these values telugu hindi old in the exact format in the exact order if i'm going for values this will tell you the values associated to these values okay so this should go in x axis this should go in y axis and through matplotlib we are plotting the things okay and once we know okay this should go in x axis this should go on y axis the rest of the things will be pretty easy now let's do one thing uh, let's plot the graph okay here i'm writing plot the graph plot the same graph but with uh c born okay so if i'm plotting the same graph with c born what will happen it will draw it in a better manner okay uh, means from better manner I, i mean to say the output that you can see the graph that you are seeing will be a bit beautiful okay here okay here it is using the bar plot let's see if it will give you a better result or not or otherwise we should uh like go for directly like here we are also writing only writing okay uh, a different plot okay so if i am taking so okay sorry i need to copy the code and then i'm pasting it here so this should go in x axis and i think most of the things are same okay i need to import c1 so let's import C born as SNS. Okay, so because we are using a different library, C born, so C born will give you a lot of customizations that you can perform on the plotting part. Okay, so from here you can easily see Telugu is the song which is having most number of singers. Okay, now if I am telling you. just tell me the number of songs uh, means a uh, most of the num- uh, means a singer which has sung most number of songs okay a singer who has sung most number of songs you can use kind of the same approach to perform the thing okay almost same approach you can apply it to perform it okay so let's do that so can you like suggest me what i need to write to plot the same what i need to write to plot the same which song like which singer has sung most number of songs okay it can be a singer it can be multiple singer it can be dudes as well for example chitra singh and jig singh singh you can try this as one okay so what do you think the things that you need to change anyone quickly let me know yes what i need to change in the code okay now here it is loading the data set again but we don't need to load it we can just take the reference from the data frame that we are having and rest of the thing will be going as it is okay so unique singers is there and here this is basically song distribution okay number of songs in each singer okay instead of language we can use singer sneha is singer okay let's try that so what we are doing instead of language we are taking singer okay so that's definitely it because if i'm going for df of singer of value count what it will do it will return you lata mangleshkar is a singer who has most number of songs Fourteen hundred and ten songs. Asha Bhosle is having twelve hundred and seventy-four songs. Kishore Kumar, Mohammad Rafi, SP Balasubramanian. So there are a lot. There are the legends of this era, right? So what we can do now? Definitely, if I'm checking the length of it, okay. So the length of it is six thousand one hundred ninety-six. Okay. So ideally. what you should write because if you are plotting a bar graph with 6190 bars you'll you'll not able to see anything okay let's try that okay 
how that looks. So if I'm plotting it, instead of language, like make sure to change the thing, like instead of language, you need to write uh, songs or singer, okay? And the number of songs in each byte singer. And here you can write singer. Now, because I'm plotting it for 6,000 plus uh, users, 6,000 6, plus singers, that is why it is showing you like this. It is going to take a lot of time because, and the final result is also something that you're not able to understand easily. Okay, because all of the names of the singers will be at the bottom. Okay, and literally you're not able to see anything. Okay, so what you can see in this particular, what you can do in this particular case, rather than printing all the singles, you can plot top 20 singers, right? What are the top 20 singers? Those are most number of songs. This is something you can easily do, right? And here you can see all the pre-processing part is done. And this particular arrow will basically uh, tell you which cell uh, means which particular line of code it is uh, currently running. And this is printing the last cell means all the pre-processing part is done. Now it is just plotting the graph. Okay. So instead of doing all these things, what you can do, you can take this value counts and in this value counts, you can take first, means let's see how we can take the, for the top 10. Okay. So here you can see this is going to be time consuming. Let me stop the execution of it. Okay. So here you can see, this is how it is showing you. Okay. This is not at all something that you want to return. Okay. So what you need to do ideally, let me see if the data set is there. Okay, it is there. So I'm loading the data set, printing the distribution. And here, rather than printing all the values, all the singles, what I'll do, I'll basically take the value count of single. Okay, it should be df of singles. It should be df single. And once we are having it, I can go for head. Can you go for head and head of let's suppose 20. So this will give you a list of top 20 singles. So what I can do on the same code, just try to write dot head of 20. Okay, and see the difference. So now if I'm executing it, here you can see these, this is the list of top 20 singers. Lata Mangleshkar is at the top. Then we are having S, Janki, and Noor Jaha. And till the end, we are having Mahindra Kapoor. Okay, so these are the top 20 singers who have played most number of songs. Okay, and from here, you can see there are some duets as well. For example, SP Bala Subramanyam and P Sushila. Okay, so this is a duet singer. So if I'm talking about a duet with most number of singers there, means a duet who has played most number of songs, in that list, you will get SP Bala Subramanyam and Sushila. Okay, and same goes for Kishore Kumar and Lata Mangleshkar. Now, if I want to make another data frame, which is having just these singers, then this is going to be the one. Okay. Now let's do one thing because we are going every means one by one, we are going one step ahead. So let's suppose rather than printing the singers with most number of songs, I want to this time print the duets, the duets, okay. The singers with most number of duets. I'll not count the single song. So in that case, what I can do? First things, first thing first, I need to find the duets. Okay. I need to find the duets. And duet means what I'll do for on the data frame only, I'll create a new column. Sorted. So because this is the song distribution, this is the top 20 songs, top 20 singles with most number of songs. Let me write. Top 20 
fingers with most number of songs okay now some of you uh, some of you might uh, might be also saying that if i'm talking about sp bala subramanian if i'm talking about the single he sung around he has recorded more than 1200 songs and with the sushila he has uh, means he have recorded more than 600 songs so ideally he has worked on 600 plus 1200 songs this this is also an approach right so this is not an exact this is this should not be the answer and similarly if i'm talking about lata mangleshkar and mohammad rafi lata mangleshkar has an, more than 4 1400 songs but with mohammad rafi is also in the list of almost 350 songs so 350 plus 1400 ideally it should be 750 songs right so to perform these kind of things i need to pre process this data further because so far we are just taking a column through that column i'll find the value count and the sorting and plotting the thing okay but if you want to dig deeper into it what you need to do you need to pre process the data in a better manner okay now how you can pre process the the data in a better manner that let's see how these thing works okay so uh if i'm taking the data frame again okay so uh what we can do we can take the singer id and what we can do if i'm talking about dile the nadan song this song is having two singers chitra singh and jagjit sir okay now if i am following this particular rule of plotting this graph so chitra singh and jagjit singh is a duet this is a duet song what if i want to make it as chitra singh dile nadan and jagjit singh dile nadan in this particular case there will be two rows representing the same song this is how it should be done because otherwise what will happen this particular song will not be counted as jagjit singh only or chitra singh only it is counted as both of them okay so ideally what you should do you should write a code in such a way that with dile nadan tujhe hua kya it should be dile nadan with chitra singh and in the next show dile nadan same with jagjit singh this is how it should be done okay the problem statement is clear to everyone or not if it is clear then i will start writing with the code okay these things are comes under data pre processing techniques how you will pre process this data set okay once pre processing it does, is done then we can proceed further with how analysis can be done data analysis is more most about data pre processing it's about how you are pre processing the data okay so the problem statement is clear to everyone anyone having any issue with the problem statement okay so should i like think it as like it is clear or it is not clear okay uh, to record it actually the session is being recorded and uh, uh, like i'm hoping you guys are a part of the discord group okay on the discord i like will share you like from where you can access this uh, the session details okay so you'll get it on the discord so make sure to be a part of the discord okay and uh, okay so i think we should proceed further with this now ideally what we need to do we need to take the name column and singers column these are the two things that i need to change so far i'm just taking these two things into consideration and you can also take the singer id duration and language as well okay so what i'll do i'll take df dot values i'm converting this into a a numpy array okay 
So in this NumPy array, if I'm checking the shape of it, the shape of it is the number of rows into number of columns, the number of songs, how many features we are having for each song. Okay. Now what I'll do, I'll go for song like for details and df dot values and if I'm printing details and let me break the statement. Okay. So here what we are doing here you can see Delay Nadan at index zero we are having the name of the song and index one we are having singer or singers. It can have one singer, it can have multiple singers. So what I'll do, I'll take Dine Nada and the number of singer. Now, what is the one thing that I need to do? Okay, let's take zero as the singer or oh, zero as the song, sorry. And singer will be of one. Okay, so if I'm printing the song, and singer, this is how it's being done. Sorted. Now, what I'll do, I'll take singers dot split. Okay, here I'm splitting the data into how with respect to bar. So this will tell you if there are two singers, so it should be Delena Dan Tujhe with Chitra Singh, Delena Dan Tujhe with Jagjit Singh. Right. This is how I want it to return. So what I can do in this particular case, I can go for a list. Okay, for uh, singer in. Okay, for S in singer. What I'll do, I'll print uh, S the singer name along with the song. Right. So if I'm executing it, here you can see Dilena Dantuji is the song name by Chitra Singh, Dilena Dantuji will also be count with Jagji Singh. Okay. If I'm removing this break statement, what it will do, it will perform the same operation for all of them. Okay. Now, ideally what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this whole thing and I'm going to save it in data column. Okay. Or let's take songs is equals to a list singers is equals to a list and here I'm printing okay or let's take it as data because directly then we are going to perform different operation okay data dot append and here I'm going to append two things in this data okay and those two things are uh, the s means the singer name and the song okay so if I'm executing it here yeah, because I'm executing it for the first time. Okay. So once that part is done, if I'm checking the length of data, so this is having 60,166 number of users, a number of like rows we are having. Let's convert this into a data frame. Okay. DF underscore is equals to uh, underscore means basically I'm using because I want to create a temporary one. Okay. PD dot data frame. And this data frame, what I will do, I'm going to write uh, this data. And what should be the name of the columns? Because it is having two columns, okay? It is having the song column, it is having the singer column. If I'm writing df underscore, so just see the difference. Here you can see EJ Bangla. Sorry if I'm uh, like pronouncing it incorrectly. This is a song sung by. Sandhya Mukherjee and it's a do it also by Hemant Kumar. Okay. Now this particular data frame earlier, it was having 40,000 something rows. Now this particular data frame that I have created, this is having 60,165 rows. There are some songs repeating. Why it is repeating? Because I have means now I'm treating them differently. Now what I can do. Now I can take the single column and now I can plot the graph. Okay, this will give you a much better result, means more realistic result, right? So what I'll do, let me copy this code here. Okay, and with df underscore, I'll take the single column, I'll go for value count, 
and I think rest of the things will be fine. Let's plot this graph. And here you can see the data is now changed. The maximum songs are not by Lata Mangleshkar. It's by S. P. Bala Subramanian. Okay. P. Sushila. And then Asha Bonsle and Kishore Kumar and the rest of the singers. So from here you can see just by pre-processing the data, the top five singers, Lata Mangleshkar, Asha Bonsle, Kishore Kumar, are now changed. Now Lata Mangleshkar is down by probably 500 songs. Right? So this is how data analysis works. Okay, This is how thing works. Once you start analyzing the things and just by changing the a very uh, small thought process, the whole value changes. Okay, and now if I tell you, this is also not the exact values of the singers. Okay, this is also not the exact values of the singers based on the data set. No. Because here we are also taking the singer names, not singer IDs. Okay, so ideally, what I need to do. I need to take singer ID as a reference. Okay. And how I can take singer ID as a reference? Simple. So if I'm taking DF, so at DF of zero is basically song name. DF of one is nothing but singer name. So if I'm taking singer ID, means if I'm taking this, because instead of singer, this will be a singer ID then. Okay. And now if I'm executing it, this is the exact answer. Okay, exact answer means the answer that we are or earlier was having might be correct, but this will give you the exact values, exact number of songs with respect to each singer ID. Okay, and through this singer ID as well, like uh, backslash articles, backslash backslash is something that's common in all of them. So you can pre-process it further and like got the answer. Okay, or what you can do, here you can see some of the singers name you might not able to understand. So here you can see Ishwari. I don't know like if this is the full name or not. Mukesh is a, is a full name. Noorja is a full name. Okay, Suresh, Vadkar, Vad, means Vadkar is another singer and then we are having Vani Jashya. So these, this is the data that we are getting if we are proceeding further with user ID, singer ID, not going for singer name. Right? So this is, this is how things are. This is how you should also think. Right? How, what should be the idle way? So singer name is not the idle way. Singer ID is the idle way. Okay. Now the same thing you can perform with singer ID and you can take the name of the song as well also in reference because there might be multiple songs with the same name but different song ID. That is why in the original ID, I'm having both. We are having singer ID and name ID so that the duplicates can be removed. Okay. And so far we are mostly focusing on data pre-processing techniques. Because data analysis, if I'm talking about data analysis, if you want to make a project on data analysis, so your 80% work is totally about pre-processing the data. Because once pre-processing is done, data analysis and visualizing the data is not difficult. So it's more about data pre-processing part. Okay, let me give you another example. Let's suppose if I want to know what is the average duration of an Urdu song? as compared to what is the average duration of a song as compared to other languages. Okay. So to do that, first of all, what you need to do, you need to take these two columns, the duration and language. We'll find, okay. Uh, okay. We'll find the total duration in Urdu divided by the number of Urdu songs. We'll get an average duration in seconds. Okay. But currently, what is the issue with the duration column? Can anyone tell me what is the issue with duration column? What is the issue with duration column? Yes, anyone? 
So here we were taking most number of songs. Here we were doing the same thing, but after pre-processing. Okay. Sorted. So uh, the issue is, it's not in the exact format that I want. Okay, it is not integer. That's exactly the answer. Okay, and Abhishek has also shared the Discord link. So make sure guys to join the Discord. Uh, the updates we are going to share on Discord. And similarly, if you are having any doubt like where you can access the recordings or anything like that, that's also will be solved on Discord. So make sure to join the Discord. Okay, so what is the issue that we are facing? So the issue is if I'm taking the date, the duration, sorry. So the duration is in minute, is in this particular format. Okay. If I'm taking like the D in duration, if I'm printing D. Sorted. So and let me write break. So here you can see uh, this is what we are getting. Okay. And if I'm checking the type of it, the type of it is string. So what I need to do, I need to convert this somehow into seconds because I cannot compare five. I cannot compare this with this. I cannot compare it because both of them are string. So I need to somehow convert it into seconds. Now I need to write the code to convert it into seconds. Okay. Now what is the idle way? So far now there are multiple ways to deal with it. I'm going to uh, deal with it in a very naive approach. Dividing the problem into the smallest step and then we'll proceed further. Okay. So we want to convert minute and this into minute and se uh, seconds. So what I'll do five minutes, zero seconds means five into 60 plus these are the seconds that we'll have. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take both of them. If I'm splitting them with a column. So if I'm splitting them with column, so the zeroth index will give me the minute and the first index will give me the second. Simple approach, right? Now what I can do, I can take this thing and convert it into integer. I can take this thing, convert it into integer. And once it's converted, I can directly multiply the minutes into 60 and second into whatever seconds we are having, right? Now, if I'm taking this, let's suppose zero, zero, if I'm converting into integer, that's done, right? And similarly, if I'm converting this zero five of a string to integer, that's also done. What I can do, I can take this number of minutes Type cast it into integer, right? And type cast this as well into integer. I'm just telling you the data pre processing techniques. Okay. So here you can see 500 zero zero is now converted 5 into 0. This is the number of minutes. So what I'll do, I'll multiply it with 60. So how many seconds are there? 300 plus already seconds that are there. So 500 zero zero is nothing but 300 seconds. Very simple code that we have written. So what we are doing, let's see, we are going to print this and then this. Instead of this, it should be D and A again. Okay. So if I'm executing it, so 500 zero zero is nothing but 300 seconds. Okay. Now let's do one thing. Let's remove the break statement and let's execute it. And see, okay, let's check the duration of first 100 songs just to check if this is the exact format that we are following or not. Okay, so here you can see most of the songs are in that direction only. Okay, so if I'm printing it, just to go to check, so here you can see it is printing the values. 
for all of them right now there might be some exceptions this is something that i want to see okay there might is there any possibility that there are some songs whose duration is less than a minute that will be covered here or not if there is any song whose duration is less than a minute that thing can be covered in this situation or not yes anyone if the duration is less than it will be covered because then it will be 0 minute 0 minute by 60 0 plus only the seconds will be counted okay is there any possibility that the, the duration is also in hours one hour five minute or something in that case is there any possibility that this uh, this situation can solve this problem the situation can solve this problem no so what i need to do i need to check if that is the possibility or not okay and to check that what i'll do just write the simple code if the means if i'm writing d dot split with a colon okay and here i'm going to check if after splitting that the length of it is equal to equal to three then print D. So what it will do, it will split them and check if there is any, if there are two columns or not. If I'm splitting them with column, so this will be one value, this will be second value, this will be the third value. So here you can see we are having a lot of songs that comes under this. So what I will do, here I will write this code in a different manner, okay? So if, and here I write LF, if it is equals to equals to two, then this should be printed. Otherwise, what we need to do, we need to divide this into hours and minutes and seconds, right? One hour, zero minutes, zero seconds. Okay. So for that purpose, what I need to do, I need to change the things a little bit. Okay. So what I'll do now, I'll now take D instead of zero. Now here zero will be R. One hour, how many seconds are there? 60 into 60, 3600, right? So what I'll do here, I'll multiply 3600 because this is about the number of hours plus number of minutes plus number of seconds. Am I clear to everyone? So now if I'm executing it, you can calculate, okay, 1 hour 24 seconds are 3, 6 to 1. Simple logic, right? Sort it. So here you can see 1 hour 0 minute 21 seconds is the answer. So what I'm doing here, this is the pre-processing part, okay. This will basically take, let me add in the comments, R colon minute colon second. Okay. And this will deal with minute colon second. What else we can have? Okay. Let's see in the else part if we are having anything or not. Okay. Otherwise, I take the duration is equal to a list. And here I'm going to take duration dot append append this data and here I'm also taking duration dot append this data okay so here you can see if I'm executing it and in the else part let's print d so what we'll do we'll see if it comes under hours minute second I'll append it if it comes under minute second I'll append it if there is any other format that we are missing will print it okay and if i'm executing it here you can see it is not printing anything that means there are only two options here so what i'll do here the pre-processing part is done okay we are converting the duration uh, the duration into seconds okay and once that particular thing is done let me write in the business step where we are 
pre-processing the duration okay and because we are pre-processing the duration this is what we are getting so what i can do i can take the duration column earlier this is how the duration column looks now in the duration column i'll add this list that i have just created okay so now if i'm doing this what it will do if i'm checking the df dot head instead of the duration column now I'm having duration in seconds. And because I am having the duration in seconds, okay, so what if the duration is in seconds? So in that case, here we have checked in the if-else condition that currently it is not there. If it is there, that if it, it's only having seconds, so what we can do, we can write one more elif here. And the elif we can write if the length is equals to is equals to one, then only I'll take int of 0 as a second. I don't need to multiply with 60 or anything. Then that's how it should be done. Okay. Yeah. That's the exact answer, Shivam. Thanks for the explanation. So now because we are having the duration, now here we are going to check, okay, how we can plot it, how we can plot the average duration of a song of Urdu and Hindi and so on. So to do that, I'll take df dot group by. Okay, I want to make the groups of language because I'll find, okay, I'll create a temporary data frame for Urdu language song, another one for Hindi, then for uh, Bengali and Malayalam and Telugu. And what I will do, I'll find the average of what duration of each group i'll make each group i'll make a group of urdu data frame i'll find the average of the duration i'll make a group of hindi take the duration and find their average okay and if i'm executing it here you can see the answer Assamese, bengali Bhushpuri, gujarati Haryani so on till urdu we are having the answer right so this this is the answer and here you can see comparatively urdu is having maximum okay and the same thing you can plot as well how you can plot it you can use the same means way copying the code And pasting it here. Okay. So I'm basically writing group by. This will give you the final output. And here, rather than taking the head, just take all of them. Language we are having instead of singer, this is nothing but language. And this is nothing but duration. So just take the X label and Y label accordingly. So here you can see Assamese, Bengali, Bhojpuri, Gujarati, Haryanvi, Hindi. This is the output that we are having. Okay. So here we are getting a different answer. Okay. Just give me a second. Mean of duration if I'm going with. So this is what we are getting. Okay. Punjabi songs are there which is having duration even more than that, okay? Because we have not sorted the values, right? So let's write sort underscore values with the song. So here you can see if I'm sorting the values, Punjabi is number number one, then we are having Urdu on number two, then Bhojpuri, Haranvi, and so on. Average duration of a song, how we have found it, we have pre-processed the data first. After pre-processing the data, then we can find it directly we cannot find it similarly once we are having the duration and we have changed the duration directly on the data frame okay because we have pre-processed the data frame so let's write here the sixth step of analyzing duration of songs of each language And once that part is done, this is how it is plotting the things. Okay. Same thing you can do for 
the singers what is the average duration of a song of a singer okay what is the average duration of a song of lata mangeshkar okay or things like that so what we can do we can take the exact same thing okay now this is the last question that we are doing at this point of time can you tell me what are the things that i need to change okay so shivam is saying can we create a new column with the cleaned data right yes we can do that as well we can use the duration in seconds a new column rather than replacing the same column okay so uh, the last thing is we are going to do that same okay average duration of song of a singer and we are going to find the top 10 okay so to do that what i'll do uh, i'll basically first of all make the group by function rather than language and duration this time we need to make it or or singer and duration okay and here is well i'm writing singer there are singers which are like repeated multiple times so i'm not going to take uh, the help of them uh, means i'm not going to sorting them i'll take the pair directly if there are two singers three singers four singers i'm going to take the pairs okay ascending is equal to false okay so if i'm talking about dilshad akhtar the average duration is 1900 means 1900 okay 19540 sorry okay and you can convert it into seconds and see what is the actual duration okay so actual duration is okay actual duration is a lot okay so we have found the average i think like there is some issue in the data set only because the duration is in seconds okay the duration is in seconds so i think 19 540 divided by 3600 so the duration is 5.4 hours so he might be a ghazal singer uh, but you can check the name of the songs of dilshad akhtar again okay but at this point of time my funda is to plot the graph Hello. of and okay so here i need to plot the graph of top 10 singers and i have plotted it for like all the singers because of that it is going to give an error for sure yes yes someone is saying something okay so let's do one thing let's just do uh, perform the last thing to find the songs of dilshad akhtar it's a kind of song he has made that the duration is so long right so i'll take this and just take the name of the singer as dilshad akhtar okay and i'll take the data frame of all the songs of dilshad akhtar and he has a lot of songs and most of them are punjabi and the duration is also pretty huge okay man which was na so these are some punjabi song and i think most of the songs must be must be folk or folk song or ghazal that's why like the duration is a lot okay so uh, so far this is the data pre processing part and we have also discussed how we can analyze the things a little bit most of the things uh, we have discussed in the data pre processing point of view because that is one of the most important thing that we are having okay and if i am going back to the medals point of view the main data set on which you are going to work and uh, in that medals data uh, like i am hoping you have started working on that uh, gfg hackathon okay so if i'm opening medals.csv okay so this is having uh beijing olympics mix and doubles gold silver bronze the type of game we are having the cities which is held the athlete okay so here you can have a basic understanding 
you can relate the thing that in the beginning there we were having singer name singer id here we were having singer name uh, means the athlete name and athlete link because there might be multiple singers uh, multiple athletes with the same name but we will not have multiple athletes with the same link right so rather than taking name you can take link as a reference to find the exact name okay if those two players are same or not okay then we are having the country the country code and different things okay so the, this particular data process pre processing technique that we have discussed will definitely help you to perform that uh, on in the hackathon as well okay so that is pretty much it and the link of this notebook i'm sharing with you here only so that you can I'm sharing that with all of you in the chats. So you can click on this uh, link and this notebook will directly open. Okay. Um, and once that is open, you can run the codes and try to perform more data pre-processing techniques on this. The same data set is also available on Kaggle. So if you go to Kaggle and data sets and you can go to this uh, Okay, it is not there on Kaggle account. I think that is private or something like that. It's not showing you here currently. But what you can do, like you can take the data set from the GitHub and then you can proceed further with that. Okay. Okay. So I'm saying, can we use uh, data from Kaggle for the uh, hackathon? Okay. So the data set that uh, we have shared with you, uh, that should be the core data set that you need to use. Okay. And apart from that, on app, in terms of add-on, if you want to add anything, you can use any data set of your choice. Okay. But the core should revolve on the data set that we have shared with you. There are some players link we have shared with you. You can go to on go on those links and scrape more data about those players and display something like more insightful, more useful. So that's something that you can you guys can definitely try okay so uh thank you so much guys for joining in still if any one of you having any question having any query they can connect with me on linkedin okay i'm also sharing my linkedin with you guys so okay so uh thank you so much guys for joining and make sure to save this uh collab link that I've just shared with you. This will definitely help you to run all the code that we have discussed so far. And for the uh, recording point of view, like we uh, just be make sure to be a part of the Discord group. We will share all the details uh, about that on the Discord directly. Okay. So, uh, so do we need to train a model uh, for the hackathon? Totally up to you. Okay. Uh, because this is an open hackathon, we have just given a data set and then rest of the things are on you, how you are dealing with this. If you want to perform uh, the pre-processing analysis, making the predictions, uh, like any prediction analysis you want to do. So that's totally up to you. Okay. So uh, thank you so much, everyone. And uh, have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.